Okay, this video is about marriage. I don't know if some of y'all noticed or not, but I noticed that there's a lot of marriages around. I don't know. I live in the Southern North Carolina area. There's a lot of people getting divorced nowadays. Like, hmm. I think I run into like three or four people that's getting divorces, and I'm like, dang, like, what's happening? Nobody's treating divorce like. Well, not no. Let me rephrase that. Nobody's treating marriage like it's something that needs to last. It's like, oh, I don't like you. Um, I think I want a divorce. And I'm like, no. Um, I want y'all to listen to this song. It reminds me of the way people should be. And then after I let you listen to a little bit of it, I'm gonna make a comment about marriage. Okay? Beautiful. I love that. I'm a hopeless romantic, so. Listen to the words. Okay. No more listening to the music and looking at my face. Um. Anyways, yeah, like you know, I feel like marriage should be something like those words from that song. You know, like she said, um, holding your secret or whatever, holding them close. You know, I feel like you know, y'all should have been together long enough to. To have something like that, to have your own inside jokes, to have your own things, and then like when I'm having a bad day, I can look at you and it all go away. I know sometimes it's just not that easy, but I feel like when you married somebody, you should have married the person that made you feel like nobody else has made you ever feel that you were dating, and when you come home to them, you know, no matter what kind of day you was having, just for them to smile at you or encourage you or whatever, it's just like ecstasy. It should be, it, that's, that's the feeling it, it should be or whatever. Or it sh if not, take it away. It should just release some of the strain. Because I know when I've talked to people, not marriage-wise, but, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend-wise, Certain people I've talked to, you know, I could be having a bad day and, you know, I could get a text from them with a smiley face or a picture or hear their voice and, you know what I'm saying, my day would just get a little bit better. And I sometimes would get to the point where I would need it every day and when I didn't get to hear from them, I would kind of get upset. So, yeah. Um, it's like what happened to the marriages that were like that where you know what I'm saying you found the person that was like nobody else you married them and when life got hard you you worked on your problems like you know some people they don't deal good with pain or whatever and it's like the easiest way to to deal with it is to run and find something else and it's like you know when you're married you can't do that um, because the world is always trying to tear two people apart because that's just how life is. And it's like when you have problems, you just don't run away. You're supposed to pull each other closer and deal with them. And another thing, some people, they, they don't believe in anything. 
and you got to have something to believe in to keep both of you together. There's got to be something in the middle of you two to hold you together. It just can't be you two. I mean, I'm religious. I feel like I feel like every every marriage should have God in the middle of it if you believe in God. If you don't believe in God, I'm not pushing them on you, forcing them nothing like that. But that's just my belief. And you know, whatever you believe in, I think should be in the middle of you two to hold you together. Like, I believe in God. I think every marriage should have God in the middle because God is love. He can teach you to love people. And, you know, he controls everything. And it's like, if he can teach you to love this person, then maybe he can move their heart to, you know what I'm saying, somehow connect with you. But, I mean... Back in back in the Egyptian days, you know, he softened the Pharaoh's hearts to spare people from death and just different things. I'm not going to get on that subject because that's getting off subject. But, you know, I just feel like if you have something in the middle of you two that it'll hold you together. you got to have something to make you stay like glue. Um, but I just feel people give up way too early or they don't try at all. I know some people go to counseling that's good too and then some people are mad because oh I pay for counseling and you know it still didn't work we still have ended up getting divorced that's another thing some people marry people that you know they just were not supposed to marry some people marry because it made sense some people marry for money some people marry because they were comfortable some people marry because the person gave them a lifestyle that they wanted and they had nothing so they just stayed and then some people are comfortable it's like oh this makes sense and then here's the all time it's just cheaper to keep her you know you know everybody picks their own um, battles their own woes if, you know you have to deal with what you have to deal with because of the um, choices you made but yeah I wish these days they stop treating marriage like it's just something you can get into and get out of if you don't basically um, like a contract like oh I don't I don't think I want to be here or I like I don't think I like the term of this agreement anymore so you know yeah divorce and then you know you, you get back in another terms of agreement and then you know the other person changes some of the agreements and it's like oh well I don't like it I, I want out and it's like you know that don't even always have to be the case you know you gotta learn to compromise and some people think after marriage there is no learning more about the person but you know you know after marriage you still have more to learn I mean you learn more you learn more about them while dating but after marriage there's still more to learn more to what they they need people's needs change because people change you get older your heart changes your hormones change everything changes so Instead of trying to fix a person, just take them the way they are. Some everybody's broken in some way. Um, you just have to find a person that you're able to accept the broken part of them, and you can tolerate it. That's another thing. People end up marrying people that they cannot deal with their broken part. It's like I can't deal with it. I it, it drives me crazy. And it's like okay, well then why'd you marry them? Because of the, the things that you like about them. But see. You can't always just marry people because of what you like about them. It's a choice. Love is a choice. It's just not a feeling. If I can't deal with this, you know, this bad part of you, then I should never marry you. Because guess what? After marriage, I'm not just going to be able to go back home when I don't want to hear you. Or, you know, walk out when I don't want to hear you. You're going to be living together. You're going to have to drive places together. You're going to have to make choices together for the next 40, 80, 50 years. So... It's like, are you, can you deal with that for that, that many years? It's like, you got to think about stuff like that or whatever. Um, but I feel like people are just giving up too early because I'm asking people, you know, did you at least try to work it out? Or, you know, some people did. And like I said, they just married the wrong person. But, you know, if I feel like if they would have went and... Um, that I guess let time tell a little bit like I, I personally think people should date I think the earliest you should get engaged is maybe six months and then leave 
at least another six months to a year to tell about a person like their bad things, what you don't like about them. So you know, just see if you can you can take it, you can deal with it. Like some things people just can't deal with. Like there are some people that don't like arguing, they can't deal with it. They have tempers, they're hot head, they end up saying stuff that hurt you, and you know they just need people who don't like to argue. And uh, then you have some people that like to flirt. They need people who don't mind flirting because they probably flirt. You know, you know, you just gotta have. It's all about compatibility. Like some people just married people they weren't compatible with. They just married them because it made sense, or like I said before, just for the wrong reasons. Um. But yeah. Um, I'm gonna play the rest of my song right quick and let you hear some more of it. But yeah, it's called, the, the name of the song, if you want to go listen to the rest of it, it's called When I Find You, I'll Find Me. And it's by Joshua, Joshua, uh, Joshua Radden and Maria Taylor. You know, when I found the song, I thought it was really romantic and I felt like it really described what relationships should be like. I mean, I feel like when you, when you join the marriage, um... It's like finding the other part of you. And that's why he said, when I find you, I'll find me. And it's like if the person ever walked away, they would take a part of you. And, and you would take a part of them. And, you know, you couldn't really function in life because you need them. So, it's like, I don't see how some people function together. And then, all of a sudden, one day, don't. And it doesn't make sense. But, I feel like, you know... These days, people, you know what I'm saying, we need to, you know, bend a little bit, try to make it work a little bit. I mean, if it's not working and you really actually tried, then like I said, you probably just married the wrong person. But I feel like people should stop treating marriage like it's a contract and treat it, treat it more like it's sacred. And, you know, you should do everything in your power to make the other person happy. Um, You know, like I said, compromise. Never stop learning about them. Try on um, while you're dating and stuff or in a relationship to have your own jokes, your own inside jokes and all the other stuff. Like this one guy I dated, we had this thing called cake. And, you know, he he kind of felt like a little bit inferior about himself. And, you know, I would be like, you know, it's okay. It's just icing on a cake. But, you know, I still like cake. And uh, he's like, um, I like your cake, too. You know, it's just the inside thing for a cake, um, you know, and, um, you know, it's just certain things, you know, we would say, we could, there's something we could say in public where nobody would know what we were talking about, and it would probably make both of us smile. That's the thing, like the girl said, I know how to talk and, and make you smile with my eyes and all the other stuff, because it's just something that we share, it's supposed to be sacred secretive but it's not a secret to us because we know each other like that but you know I think people should start building on things like that or whatever but you know that's just my take on that I'm not going to hold y'all long because I know all my other videos are like long as heck and y'all like dang this is boring you know, she just she sit here talking for a straight 20 minutes but um yeah that's all I'm going to say about that alright peace